That song, of course, from the movie A Hard Day's Night, just one of the many collaborations between George Martin and the Beatles. Martin, who has been called the fifth Beatle, died peacefully at his home in England on Tuesday at the age of 90. Aaron McLaughlin joins me now outside the iconic Abbey Road Studios in London where the Beatles, with Martin producing, made music history time and time again. Uh, now, Aaron, Paul McCartney called him a second father. George Martin certainly was key to the success of launching the Beatles. That's right, Linda. It was actually here at Abbey Road Studios that in 1962 that he, he discovered the Beatles at a time when every other record label was turning them away. He was hugely influential on their music. He even acknowledged that at the time when they first started out, they'd never been in a recording studio. He said that they weren't very good. His initial priority, incredibly, was to try and find the music to sing. And of course, all changed, and he said it changed very quickly. The Beatles grew rapidly, sparking what quickly became a pop culture revolution. Uh, but it was a revolution that happened with his help. And it was something that Paul McCartney pointed to in a rather lengthy statement that he released earlier today, uh, talking about that influence, pointing to songs that uh, he he influenced with uh, instruments. It, for instance, for instance, uh, the song Yesterday, he convinced the Beatles to add a string quartet. Yesterday, of course, would go on to become one of the most recorded songs uh, of all times by the likes of Frank Sinatra. That's just one example of the profound impact he had on the Beatles and their music. Of course, Aaron, you're on uh, Abbey Road where many of the Beatles uh, recorded many of their biggest hits. How are people paying tribute there? And you mentioned there has been reaction from Paul McCartney. What about uh, from Ringo Starr? Well, here outside Abbey Road Studios, the Beatles are very much in the air. They're actually playing some of their greatest hits in tribute to Martin. There's a very small but growing makeshift memorial just behind me. People stopping to lay flowers uh, and to leave notes to remember this music legend and we're also hearing from as you mentioned some of the artists that he worked with paul mccartney i'll just read you a bit more of that statement that he released uh, saying quote the world has lost a truly great man who left an indelible mark on my soul and the history of british music god bless you george and all who sail with you also hearing from elton john uh, elton john tweeting out so sad to hear about sir george it is the end of a wonderful era he was a delightful brilliant man uh, and martin sharing some of that brilliance with elton john we all remember uh, the song Candle in the Wind, the version that played at Princess Diana's funeral. Well, that was co-produced by Martin. Just one more example of the influence that he had on some of the most remarkable songs of history. Certainly an incredible career. And I understand he was working well into his 80s. Aaron McLaughlin at the Abbey Road Studios. Thank you very much.